What's going on guys, Ryan with Jelly Patrol, back another video today. We're going to take a look at the Inart All-In Set, the rooted Batman, the rooted Bruce Wayne, and the Bat Signal. If you want to get one of these, or all these, or one of the above, check out Pop Collectibles, link in the description below. We're going to get into unboxing, it's going to be a long one. Comparison video between this one and Hot Toys, separate video. We're going to take a focus on these right now. All right, we're gonna kick this video off with the Batman, then we'll look at Bruce Wayne, and then we'll look at the Bat Signal. So let's start off with the Batman. Now it does have this nice little slip cover deal, which is super reflective, and you can see the lights and everything bouncing off of it. Uh, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we've got the Batman premium version down here. Obviously it's gonna be the rooted uh, for Batman, and I have the rooted sculpt for Bruce Wayne as well. On the side, we've got the Batman through this little clear deal. And then on the back, you can see all the little bats as I am the shadows. I now I know now what I must become. So we're gonna flip this guy over, get this slip cover off of here so we lose the reflection. And here we are. Now I have already gone through here and removed all of the plastic that surrounds every single accessory with a uh, in art figure. So I've saved us a little bit of time on that. And uh, I may have taken a sneak peek at a couple things. But anyway, so let's go over there. We've got one six collectible figure, the Batman logo here. We got the cowl for the Batman figure. Bruce Wayne has a little, well, you'll, you'll see that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. We do have this little magnetic flap that as we open up, we are greeted with a nice little outline of the cowl, black over here, nice red here. And then we have here, we have the instructions, which we are definitely going to need these guys is in art figures like read the instructions these there's well, we're gonna need that uh, and then in here we've got our letter from in art including and not limited to our uh i'm not exactly sure what this is but they include it and then we've got our ticket stub right here for the batman 2022 nice little embossed there and then on the back it says uh the batman in art 16 collectibles pta 004 Release date, August 15th, 2022. So a uh, pretty cool piece. Uh, if you've gotten the Joker figures or Pennywise or um, Gandalf, you know, you've got, you got all these things. So let's go ahead and put this guy back in here. And uh, let's get into what's in the trays. In art. There we go. Okay. First tray, we're going to have accessories. So like I said, I've went ahead and removed all the little plastic bits. Everything in here was surrounded in protective covering. So it's, it's a lot of stuff going on here. And this is just, this is the accessories. Under this, we've got the figure. And then under that, we've got the diorama base. A lot of stuff going on here. Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's quite, it, it's a lot. For posing, it's going to take a minute. So first off, I guess we'll just start up here. We've got our, our uh, clues from the Riddler. And they have included every single one of them. And it is cool. There's our little owl there. And it is cool. So if you open these guys up, you've got everything that should be in there. Pretty cool, right? So you got all these guys. Uh, for those who really want to see everything, there's that. And you can pause this and read it if you like. I'm assuming you have really good vision because this is fine print. My confession. And then there we go answer all right and then we got one more there we go so you got all those and then uh, you got the clues and then obviously we have the envelopes for the clues for the batman to the batman we got a nice little yellow orange mustardy color we got a green one to the batman we got a larger red one and then the largest one right here is more of a I don't know, peachy color. There's that. So all kinds of uh, envelopes and cards down. Now there are these accessories. I'm going to be quite honest with you. It tells you exactly what you get uh, in here in the accessory bin or uh, accessory display option in here. So we've got lots of parts in here. In fact, they've got them up to 36 pieces according to this. I'm gonna call it periodic table of accessories uh, from Inart. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. So it tells you what hands you got, which yeah, all, all the stuff. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get into this. So we've got our sticky, get over there. We've got our little sticky dart gun here. We'll start with this. And the paint application on these is quite fantastic. I mean, it really is. Here, we'll zoom in here. It's quite fantastic. 
I mean, the it, it's plastic. It's not metallic, but the metallic paints in there. You got the dart uh, cartridge, the sticky dart cartridge in there. I mean, this is really, really, really stinking cool. Paint application is next level, as you would expect. Uh, I've yet to see anything from Inart that is less than uh, fantastic in that respect. So we got a sticky dart. We do have our bat cuffs. These are metal. Uh, you can kind of hear the ratchet going a little bit. Maybe. I don't think you pick that up. Uh, they do ratchet. They are nicely done. And they are die casts. So that's pretty cool. Kind of dig those. Uh, what else we got? We got our grappling guns for our left and right. We'll definitely be putting these on the, on the figure in a little bit. Nice peg section going on here. And then obviously we have our grappling um, projectiles going on there. I mean, the paint application on this is quite good as I drop things. So those are those are pretty cool. And then we have our little grappling. Now, these are a stiff wire, I guess, if you will. It's not plastic. It's, it is a wire of some kind. Uh, so those are nicely done. And you get two of those. And then if you want, if you don't want to have it extended, you can just have these, which is just the ends. And I'm not sure exactly what this would be called. This this Like on a crossbow, it's like a bolt. I'm not, I guess this is just a grappling hook, I guess. Uh, but there's that. So you get two of those. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, batarangs. You're going to get a couple of these guys. So these are metal. And you get this nice touch of like yellow orange going on right here. The weathering on them is crazy good. We'll flip this guy around. And we've got the same thing on the back. They, they look great, quite good. And then you've got a folded up, or well, half folded up one, I guess, if you will. Um, I Yeah, these are really nicely done. Again, die-cast parts. So if you're into that kind of thing, you've got plenty of that. A bat computer. Check this guy out. This is pretty stinking cool. I, when I saw this first, I was like, that's pretty stinking good. It opens up and you got this nice, like a acrylic, I say acrylic, but it's probably plastic insert of some kind. Uh, but it gives the appearance that it's an actual computer screen. Got a nice glossy look. You can see it right there. It's quite cool. Got all your full keyboards. I dig this very much. So it folds up. You can have them do whatever you like to do. Got a nice little bat signal right there. And uh, all that looks pretty good. Now, a couple different things. we got some accessories that actually have to go on the belt. As you can see, this is the belt uh, down here. We actually have to put it on the figure. It doesn't come with it. Uh, we got some uh, little accessories we got to put on. They have little clips, so it's going to go on. we got two of those. Right? Two of those guys go on there. We have our flashlight, which, and I didn't know they were going to do this, actually lights up. That's pretty sick and cool. I dig that. It's got this nice little clip here you can hang on the belt. Uh, you can open this guy up just like this. Oh, here we go. Uh, there it is. Uh, all right, there we go. You can open this guy up just like this, and uh, you can turn the, the flashlight on. That's pretty sick and cool. I like that. Once you press that white part down, it will light up. You can place it back in here, place it in here, and now we have a working a working flashlight. That's pretty stinking cool, I think. Then we've got his, uh, I guess, adrenaline shots. You got a couple of those guys. Nice little yellow orange band going around the side. Weathering on all this. Like, there's nothing here that is pristine. We got two flares. You got a regular flare and then you got an extended flare. I think both of these look quite good as well. One there. And one there. I dig that. Next up, we've got our bat belt, which we're gonna have to install on the figure. This is nicely made. It doesn't feel like too rigid. I think we're gonna have plenty of range of motion when we get the posing. I dig this, got nice little uh, holsters for all your flashlights, flares, your uh, drilling cartridges, and obviously the other uh, canisters we're gonna have to place on there. Thigh holster. I mean, this is... Very, very well done all the way around. All right, going on to the next tray. Obviously, we've got the figure itself. We've got a bunch of hands. We've got two cows, one with a faceplate and eyes, one an empty cow for holding, a couple faceplates. And if you were, in case you were wondering, in the instructions, kind of get into this. I think it'd be kind of fun. In here, it tells you what all the hands are actually for. I like that. I think it's pretty cool. So we have an open palm right hand. These two are going to be on the actual figure. Open palm left hand. A left fist, a right fist, 
a left hook holding hand, a right ho hook holding hand. That's going to be these guys, which we'll look at in detail in just a little bit. Right gripping hand, a right dart holding, dart pinching hand, sorry, a clawing right hand, and then a right gun holding hand. So in case you're wondering what they're used for, they lay it out for you. You can't really mess that up. I like that quite a bit. Instructions. Good stuff, right? All right, so let's get into this. The details on the actual hands are next level fantastic. I like them very much. We'll kind of zoom in and give you guys a little closer look. I think they look great. Got this nice little uh, rubbery glove knuckle kind of section going on there on, on the right. On the left hand, it's almost like he's wearing a little, a little back computer, a little watch right there. By the way, for today's video, I thought Batman would wear a G-Shock. So there we go. GA2100 G-Shock for those curious. Um, but these look fantastic. Big fan of these things. Those are the fists. And then the glove hold, or the uh, uh, dart holding hand, or the hook holding hand. These things look, I mean, they're just really nicely done. And they match the suit quite well, I think. Like sometimes you get gloved hands, uh, or hands in general just don't match the material in the suit. These are obviously rubbery PVC, vinyl, whatever they're made out of, uh, but they actually match the suit, which is very nice. Uh, and I greatly appreciate that. Some nice weathering throughout, detail, dirt, grime, everything you'd expect to see on a Batman of this uh, caliber. And here's your right gripping hand, right? And then we've got our, there we go. There we've got our other hand. For gripping got that one and then we have the clawing hand details are fantastic around and then the gun holding hand uh, for the right so there's that now in addition to uh, we'll get to the body in just a second we have two cowls uh, so we have one with the face plate uh, interchangeable face plates and uh knack magnets and everything eyes we've got that going on and then we have this empty cowl. So let me put this to the side. Let's take a look at the empty cowl first. So this thing looks great. I think the proportions of it look great. I think the dimensions look on point from you know, screen accuracy level. I think they absolutely nailed that. So I think that's great. As an accessory piece just to be holding, I can totally see that. Because we do have the rooted Bruce Wayne sculpt to go on this figure, which we'll see in a little bit. And then we've got this guy so here is our bat cow sculpt guys this is on the money this is like for me this is a 10 out of 10. this thing is beautiful like the paint application the skin tone i think is great the five o'clock shadow i think they absolutely nailed that i mean this thing looks it looks the part what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below it absolutely looks the part now we do have Pop this off. There's our neck adapter here. Neck adapter that goes on the body. We'll look at that in a second. And then we have our joysticks for moving the eyes around. You can see those in there. Pretty easy to do. And then we have our face plates, which we can change out. So we have three face plates. You've got this guy here, a closed look, which we already looked at. And then we've got this angry. Here, we'll put the neck adapter back on there. Uh, there's your angry look from all the different angles. I think this looks great as well. Big fan of this one. And then we pop this off and we've got one more option, which is more of a snarling teeth showing look. Pop this guy back in there and you've got this one. So I, I don't know if I have a particular favorite at this point, but I do, uh, I do like all of them. I think they all look pretty stinking good. All right, it's time everybody's been waiting for. Let's look at the suit now. If you have in art figures in the past, you'll know they have this neck adapter right here. I will tell you mine, this one has come out a few times with the head sculpt. It pops right off and it pops on. If you have a six scale body, it has that peg. So underneath this joint is a normal six scale neck peg. Uh, and so if this one comes off with yours with six on it, just pop it off, uh, stick it back on there. That's just, it's happened to me a couple times, no big deal. Um, I do like this feature. I like the magnetic feature. I'd kind of dig it. It is keyed. So you can actually only, you can't really mess it up. Uh, but mine has come off a couple times, just messing around with it, looking for, uh, you know, just ideas. So the body itself is beautiful. I mean, you, when you pick this up, you, it, it feels quality. This is not lightweight. It is typical. It is, it's, I don't know. It feel, I, does weight feel quality? It maybe it does. I don't know. I think this is beautiful. The proportions are great. We'll get, when we get into posing, we see that. 
but the, and obviously I haven't installed the belt uh, or the cape yet. We haven't or the head. So there's that. Um, we got the proportions on the shoulders to the the waist. I think that's great. Got a nice V shape going on. He looks buff and not not overly buff, uh, but you can definitely tell. It's not like just one flat square rectangle going on. Um, it, it looks great. I kind of dig this. So most all the armor pieces are attached via uh, Velcro. So you can take these pieces off if you so choose. Uh, there's the one of the shoulder armor. I mean, battle damage everywhere you can think. Uh, you got the bicep um, armor here that does rotate. Uh, and it is beautiful down here through the gauntlets on the right hand. I mean, everything about this is absolutely painted to the nines. I mean, look at look at this armor damage. Look at this. And then we go around the back. Everything is weathered. Even the little zippers are like, they look properly scaled for one six scale. It looks intentional. Kind of dig that. And you almost have like this paracord style uh, looping going down. Dig that. That's a good design choice from the creators of the suit. Uh, I like everything about this. It is significantly awesome it really is it is quite cool uh so you got this on the other side on his left again the gauntlet uh these guys right here i don't even know what these are called but they're there uh it's part of his gauntlet and then we've got the bicep armor again swivels if you want to and then shoulder armor right here which looks absolutely awesome i, look, I mean i would wear that i would wear this suit this suit might be it might be one of my favorite batman suits it's quite, I don't know, I just i just liked it. Um, so we do have our bat signal right here, which you can pop out via magnet if you want to. It is die cast, so it pops right out if you want to do that. This whole chest plate comes off, which we'll have to do to install the cape. It is done via Velcro, as you can see, or hear, maybe you can hear it, maybe not see it, but it is done via Velcro, so there's that. So we'll have to take that off to put the uh, the cape on in a little bit, so we'll kind of stick that on there for right a second. It is quite fantastic. I mean, look at the detail and the textures. Everything's great. The different shading, different weathering going on, uh, depending on what panel it's on. You've got that paracord style uh, loops going down the uh, leg as well, down to the boot. You do have a split boot, so that's nicely done. I mean, it, it the boot looks like it's straight up real leather, even though it's not. But it's got the creases and the folds and the weathering, uh, even the texture detail and the weathering on the bottom. Kind of dig that. I mean, this is absolutely on freaking point. Now, somebody out there who is a, just a Pattinson Batman aficionado, you might be able to find something on here. I don't know. I think it looks quite fantastic, honestly. And we don't even have it all installed yet. Um, but I dig this very much. Now, if you don't want to have the cape on him, you can have it look like this, put the head on there, but you're going to have this patch of Velcro here because that's where the cape's supposed to go. Uh, but if you're looking at it from this angle, I guess it really matters. All right, we got this package back in here. We're going to pull the next tab here and uh, and see what's underneath the next tray. You guys are excited about that. I can't wait to actually pose this guy up. It's going to look pretty awesome. All right, so on the next tray, the bot. This is the final tray. We've got the the base. We've got the cape, and we do have a head sculpt. So let's take a look. You know what? Let's take a look at the cape. Let's go to that. We'll get this guy out of here, and then we can get the box off the table. Look at that thing. That's glorious. And then we've got a rooted hair sculpt in our nice Futurama style tube. So we'll get that here, and that is it. That's all for here. Let's get this box out of here. And you know what? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the base first because I think this is pretty stinking awesome. I, I do. I, now, in our in the past has had the magnetic bases, and they've been kind of a chore to get posed up in the manner you want. They have made some modifications, and we'll get into that. But this thing looks beautiful. I mean, it is. It is very nice. We got a nice little Batman logo going on right there. Insignia going like in in, and then the bat. So there's a bat behind the Batman. That's cool. Nice weathering detail all the way around. On the bottom, it says the Batman. We'll get more to that in just a second. I love this. This is a beautiful base. It is plastic. It's not die cast. It's not heavy. Uh, it doesn't feel weighted or anything, but it does look quite cool. I dig this. So they did a nice little trick. On the bottom here, you can see these little arrows. You can twist this guy. Oh, I can do it this way. There we go. Twist this guy right here, and then uh, we can pop that out. So I'm just going to do 
just like that, got that part off. And then now we have these movable magnets they've got going on here. So here's the magnets for the feet and you can move them up whichever way you wanna do it. And then you can slide them apart and you can put these guys wherever you like uh, on there. So I kind of dig that. I do have concerns uh, about this because when we get to posing, uh, I'm gonna, I get, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is gonna stay off. This cover is gonna stay off because when I get to posing, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work in practicality because I don't wanna have to remove that every time I wanna change a pose. Now, in reality, guys, once you get this thing posed up and you got it somewhere you like, the chance that you got messing with this, probably pretty, pretty slim, but to have that option is nice. I think, and I don't know like the engineering physics side of this thing, but just a large magnet might have been a nice option, but there might have been flaws of that plan too. So I, I don't know, but I do appreciate that they are working on it. And this appears on the surface to be an improvement on the previous magnetism bases. Um, but when we get to the posing section, we're actually gonna, we'll, we'll find out for sure. But I kind of dig that. Kind of, I kind of dig that. I think that's pretty stinking neat. The cape comes folded up just like this. It's in a bag, obviously, so we're gonna unfold this guy. And it is, it's nice. It's a, I, I guess it's, I, I don't know if it's leather. I'm not sure what the material is, uh, but it does feel nice and flexible. I would say supple, if you will. We'll go with that. Uh, it's nicely done. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Let's see here, there we go. And yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good sized cape. Whew. Okay, so we got, uh, a piece of Velcro here, which we'll have to attach over the head uh, onto. We'll have to remove the chest plate, and we'll, we'll do that in a little bit. Uh, let's see where we got wires. We got wires on the end. We got wires on this thicker seam. So there's one. There's two. There's no wire there. Three, four, five, and then on the bottom. So we got six wires on this thing. We should be able to get some nice poses out of it. On the bottom of it, you can see the, the mud and dirt and everything that's going on here towards the bottom, nice speckling. Uh, I think they did a fine job with that. I think that's pretty cool. And it, overall, quality-wise, it is two layers. You got this, like uh, I would say, like windbreaker-style material on the interior, and then you got the more glossy stuff on the exterior. I think this is going to pose up very well. We'll figure that out in just a little bit. But I think most people are going to say, hey, why are you not showing this? This is this is what we came to see. So let's go ahead and get this out here. Now, for those who have not unboxed one of these before, the top section and this clear part is a, it's one piece and the bottom separates from this. And I found that twisting it works pretty good. Be careful because you don't want to twist it and then hit the head sculpt and scratch it. You don't, you don't want to do that. It, it does take a little bit of force. I'm not going to lie. It does take a little bit of force. So I'm going to kind of twist it a little bit and then just like that. Now, sometimes it doesn't, happen that simply but that, that works out pretty good all right let's look at this sculpt Woo. and that's good this is how it's going to come just like this nice little chrome sign we've seen this with other figures they've done uh, but this thing looks beautiful so the way you get it off of this base don't pull up not going to work you're going to twist twist all right see it's going to kind of twist and then it comes up just like that it's keyed do not break your head sculpt. That would be bad. You're going to have a very, very bad day if you happen to do that. But let's take a look at our Pattinson sculpt. Guys, this is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Obviously, I got the rooted version, the premium, I guess they're calling it. The all-in set for those that are keeping track. Uh, so we have everything here. This is on freaking point. It looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The rooted. Now, the root is pre-styled. It does have whatever styling products they've put in there. So you don't have to do anything. It comes out of the package just like you just saw. I have not added any material. haven't brushed it. haven't done anything. This is what it looks like straight out of here. So you've got the eye makeup, which I do like uh, because if you're going to have him looking like this with the cowl or holding the cowl, then he would obviously have the eye makeup on there, which a lot of the times in, on other things we haven't really seen, they give you one without the makeup. So there's that. I think this is beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I think they absolutely nailed it. I think the jawline looks good. Nice five o'clock shadow. Everything looks great. The expression works. I, I have 
literally have no complaints about any of this. If you want to move the eyes around on your patents and sculpt, then all you got to do is go around in the back and right around here, the corner section here, the bottom near where the, uh, the neck adapter is, it, it kind of folds up. So we're kind of just slightly grip on there and you can see it slightly moving and boom, there we go. So you can pop that open. There are our joysticks on there. This is kind of how it does. I will not be doing this. I'm just showing you this so you can see it. But the chances of me actually using this feature are about 0%. I don't want to get hair like stuck in between the magnets and all that. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it. So I'm not going to mess with that. But that is how you move the eyes if you want to. All right, for those interested, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this guy. We're going to put on the belt, thigh holster. We'll deal with the cape. We'll deal with all that kind of stuff in just a second. Uh, let's start with the... Let's start with the belt. Let's kind of get this guy, get a little action going on here. So we're going to lay this guy down. And the way this is going to work, for those curious, is you have, this is going to be really small. You got this little clip, this guy right here, and he's literally going to slide into here. All right, you got this guy here and you got this guy, this little nodule. This is going to slide in here just like that. You can do it. I'm doing this really trying to do this on camera for you guys. And then it goes just like that. That's how it connects. So just push. It's almost like a 90 degree bend here. Just do 90 degrees there and then there. So we're going to wrap this guy around. We'll deal with the thigh holster in just a second. Let's get the belt placement on here. I know somebody would ask, how the heck do you do that? And since I have the opportunity, let's, uh, let's make it happen. All right, let's see here. We're going to have this. I'm going to go down like uh, just like a 90 degree and then boom, we have we have a belt. Now, my belt's a little loose, so back here, we'll tighten it up with with this little strap right here. There we go. That's how you're going to do that. Now, you can tighten it up and then you can use some tweezers. They give you uh, some instructions. You can tweezers and you can tuck that into the belt or to the uh, to the pant. So let's get this guy going on here. Looking pretty stinking good, if I say so myself. Got that going on there. And we'll have to worry about like the exact placement of where, how high it's supposed to be and all that kind of stuff. But uh, fairly, fairly simple installation. Not too bad there. All right, so we got this thigh holster. We got to deal with this. We should. Just be able to take, come here you. It should be a pretty similar situation here. We've got a little buckle here. And uh, should work pretty straightforward. There's one. And then where's our second one? Right here. Right here. So this one's gonna clip onto this flap right here. All right, let's go ahead and install the cape. Should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna to need to remove this chest plate, which again, I showed you guys earlier is on Velcro. I, I try to be careful with Velcro parts like this because I don't want to like, you know, it, even Velcro can be super strong sometimes. So I'll get a finger and there, just kind of start separating it. Get that out of here. All right, so we got that part off. That's fair enough. We should be pretty straightforward, right? We should be able to get this guy going on here, get it around. The next section here, and it should just get a nice little Velcro part in there. Now we do have Velcro, again, I guess I should have showed you guys this. We do have this Velcro part here on the back. We saw that earlier. So it might be easier just to do the front part here first and then we'll settle in and make sure we're centered because we don't want a weird looking cape. That would not be good, right? And there we go, guys. We have a Batman with the cowl with the cape. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna zoom out here just a touch. Look at this thing. Wow. Now without the without this, the neck might look a little long, so it might. I don't think so. I mean, you know, if you want to be nitpicky about it. But that's like the, the cape comes all the way down. It doesn't quite touch the floor. So you got a little bit of gap there. That, that, that That's cool. 
Um, but there he is. There's our Batman. And if I wrap this cape up, let's see, let's just wrap it up, get it a little tighter. There we are. We got the belt on. I think we still got to position the height and I need to uh, tuck this extra material into the pant. I'll do that in a little bit. Um, let's see if I can get this rotated around just so it's, it's not quite, you know, not quite centered just here. Or is it whiplash? Not quite my tempo. <laughs> oh man, that looks so good. That looks so good. I mean, it's, it really, it really does. All right, so I was taking this out to uh, change the head out, and you can see what I mean. I think I mentioned this earlier. This piece came out of the the neck peg. So if it happens to you, it's not a big deal. Just get a fingernail in there, or whatever, and separate it, and then just you know attach it back on there. Not not that big a deal. Uh, I'm actually just going to attach it on this like that, and then stick it back on here. So now you guys can see what it looks like with the Pattinson cowl, with the cape on, with the belt on, with the uh, the dark, the sticky dark uh, gun down here. There's where the hair goes in the back uh, for this, if you're wondering about that. I mean, look at that. So let's take a look at the Batman straight standing on his display base. Nothing crazy going on here. I do have the belt attached. Obviously, we've got the cape attached. We've got the sticky dark gun in his holster, and it's all it's, it's good to go. It looks good. It looks quite good. Now, if you're wondering what this is going to look like next to a Hot Toys figure, stay tuned. I'm going to do a separate video for that. This is going to be all about the Batman, the in-art Batman. So that's that's what this is. Uh, it, it, it deserves its own separate thing. So what we've got going on here, it looks amazing. The proportions look fantastic. There are going to be some of you out there who are Pattinson Batman aficionados who are going to nitpick every single little thing. Let me ruin your day and say I'm not that guy. I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. I'll tell you what's uh, what I see as faults uh, and the good and the bad and the ugly. I'll, I'll tell you that. But as far as like just a minutest of detail, I'm going to leave it to you in the comment section. I'll leave it to you guys. What do you think as it looks right now? Because if I had this on my display, I would be happy. And even in this most basic, I'm not even going to call this a pose. He's literally just standing there. It's not even a pose. I think this looks pretty freaking good. So let's go ahead. We'll give you guys a little closer look up top on the upper section here. And you can tell me about the proportions of like the shoulders to the waist. I think it's on the money. I think the sculpt is on the money. Uh, I, I literally every the appearance of this figure is, in my opinion, without flaw. I think they nailed it. The weathering on the armor, the weathering on uh, like all the little bits and pieces, the suit material choice. I think they nailed that. Like I, I, I think. I think they did a fine, fine job, honestly. Uh, I mean, you guys can, here's the uh, zoomed in section on the middle if you want to see that. Uh, I, I think I think they absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I mean, if we're going down, all the way down, we got split cut boot. We got our Batman logo going on right there. That, that looks fantastic. I love the, the display base. The cape goes down. Not quite to the ground, and there's a lot of wires in it. I believe I said there's six wires in it. I mean, I think this is just on the money. Got the blue eyes, which I know everybody is, you know, jumping up and down about. So um, let's uh, let's make this thing spin for a second for those who want to see what's going on. Now, my initial thoughts on this thing after doing not a lot of posing, just kind of moving joints around. It's everything you expect from a six scale figure. It does what you want to do. Double bend on the elbow, double bend on the knee, uh, ratchet it on the knee. I mean, it's going to have plenty of range of motion, plenty of uh, movement in the ankles and the hands and everything. I, I really didn't run into much of any um, hindrances as far as mobility goes from what I would expect from a six scale figure that's armed up like this. Like that's, that's what you got, right? Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased as far as that goes. 
Uh, I think the cape looks cool with the weathering down towards the bottom, plenty of wires on it. Light bounces off it nicely, so in your display, it's going to look great. The touches of yellow-orange color and uh, the weathering throughout, I think they absolutely nailed it. I think it looked great. And I, honestly, I think I like it. I haven't even broken all the accessories to do poses yet, so we'll clearly we got to do that. Before we do any crazy poses, we'll switch out the cowl for the unmasked head sculpt, give you guys a look at that uh, in some different lighting. And here we go. We've got... Uh, a simple pose for you. We got the Pattinson unmasked sculpt on here, which I think looks quite fantastic. And uh, I have moved the Magnus around and give him a little bit wider base, a little bit. I mean, again, it, it's an improvement, but uh, you know, it's, it's we're getting there. Um, and then uh, we've got the him holding the the empty cowl, which I think looks pretty stinking cool, right? So if we back this guy all the way up, he's looking something like that. And you guys can let me know. This is a simple pose where you could utilize the cowl and the head sculpt, not do anything crazy. Literally, it's he's just standing there. There's nothing going on. I do have the cape kind of swept off to your right, his left, just so I can see the cowl a little bit better. It kind of gets lost uh, back there in the cape, but, you know... I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty stinking good. If I say so myself, look at this. Who would not be happy with that on their display? All right, we got our Pattinson Batman posed up, and I got it switched out with the dart attachment on his gauntlet. Super easy, barely an inconvenience to change that out, actually. Changed out the mouth plate, mouth plate changed out the cowl, Changed out hands. It's got the magnetic hands like we've seen on previous in art figures. And does it look fantastical? Why, yes, it does. Feel free to steal this pose if you like. It was a little bit of a chore. Not because of the hands and the arm and the dorso, but because of the feet. And I have one foot up there, and I had to move the magnet in the place I wanted it. And... It just took some balancing act. It's just one of those things. So, I mean, I have the balance figures, whether they got magnets on them or not. This particular one does. So placement of the magnets kind of matters. And I do appreciate that they gave us the ability to have adjustable placements on the base. I appreciate that very much. Um, so it's a step in the right direction. This guy looks freaking awesome. I mean, come on. Check out that sculpt with the little, I did move the eyes around. So we got that. We got the little, you know, showing the teeth mouth plate. And down here we've got uh, the dart thing popping out of his gauntlet, which is super cool. I don't see me using the actual uh, grappling hook deal, the wire. I just I just don't see me using that. Um, not something I'm interested in. Uh, the flashlight feature, I dig. Uh, maybe we'll do a pose with that in just a second. Uh, but in practicality's sake, the LED is not going to last all that long. It's going to dim, and you're going to forget to turn it off, and the battery's going to die. That's just that's what's going to happen, right? Uh, so let's just let's just be real about that. I do like it, and I applaud in art for doing cool stuff like that. Uh, but in displays, practicality's sake, I mean, just just not something I'm going to use. Um, I'm digging this one very much, so I'm enjoying this figure quite a lot. I like the hand options. Uh, I like just everything about it. Now, the one thing is missing, and I'm I gotta say, guys, it's just it's just missing. It's missing one thing in art. Listen up on this. You ready? This is Batman. He is a superhero. He fights crime. He needs a dynamic flight stand of some kind. You gotta have it. That, that, that's the one miss. So far on this figure, I've only had one miss. That is it. Gotta be honest with you. So I'll, I'll spin around so you can see different angles of this guy. Uh, but that, that's the one miss, the, the dynamic stand. Uh, I, also, I also would have appreciated a drape cape. Uh, this cape here has got a lot of wires in it. It is nice. Um, I would have appreciated a drape cape. That would have been, that would have been a nice uh, addition. Uh, so this is me nitpicking, but I'll be quite honest with you, it's a pretty damn badass figure. Hey, anybody who's got this coming is going to be happy. Uh, I'll throw that out there. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep posing some stuff. I have yet to open the Bruce Wayne and the Bat Signal. So that's going to be a thing. So uh, I guess let's uh, let's get on to that. All right, let's go ahead and get into this Bruce 
Wayne figure. We're going to get rid of this slip cover off of here. We saw that on the Batman. It does not come with the bat signals, just the two figures itself. And do we do have the Batman logo in the middle and a Bruce Wayne silhouette going on on the back of it. So looks nice. It's very sturdy box. Got one six collectible figure on there. Red matches, obviously, on both sets. And then on the bottom, I know now what I must become. We saw that. The Batman on the side. And then uh, nothing really on the other side other than it just says NR. And then on the back, I am the Shadow. So we're opening this guy up. Magnetic flap once again. And we've got uh, the instructions, which definitely want to read the instructions. I don't how many times I got to say that to you guys, but you definitely want to, uh, you definitely want to check those out with these in art figures underneath. We've got, uh, the figure in the hands and the head sculpt. I have not taken the plastic off of theirs, obviously, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Bruce Wayne head sculpt minus the raccoon eyes. So that will be kind of nice. And, uh, we'll have to get this guy opened up and, uh, see if we can do this without scratching anything. Again, there's the Futurama style tube. We're going to go ahead and crack this guy open. And, uh, and let's see what it looks like inside. If it as good as the previous sculpt we saw with the raccoon eyes, or is it not? Is it different? Who knows? Let's find out. Here it is. And uh, yeah, it, look, it looks quite fantastic. It, it, it looks great. Uh, so we'll zoom in here a little bit. But I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with this, guys. The hair is crazy good. We got the blue eyes. Everybody was talking about that. I think they're on point. The hair is very, very nicely done. I mean, the rooted option on this makes total sense to me to get the Bruce Wayne side. You may not need the rooted option on the Batman side, but on the Bruce Wayne side, I think it makes sense. Paint application looks great. Still got the five o'clock shadow going on. Uh, this, in all intents, for all intents and purposes, I, I believe it's the exact same sculpt as the previous one we looked at, uh, just different paint applications. And I, I am totally okay with that. No issues whatsoever. That hair looks crazy good. Uh, also in the box, obviously we've got other accessories. We've got some silica gel, which, you know, you want to have that. And then we have the body with the uh, overcoat, trench coat, and then obviously the suit underneath. And uh, I'm telling you, these bodies from Inart just feel like they have some weight to them, man. They just have some depth. And then we got this plastic green to keep the collar in place for the shirt. We'll have to remove that later when we put on the head sculpt. Do not leave that in there do not want to do that but this i mean this the suit looks pretty good uh in this little packet we got some money which you may be able to use in real life maybe not really uh and then we've got the uh, key fob and key and then we've got some hands in there so we'll get this stuff out of here and then see what's in the bottom tray under this actually before we get there let me show what's in this little envelope just like we saw with the batman you have the ticket the bruce wayne uh, the ticket stub, if you want to tear that, I guess you can. I don't know why you would. Uh, but it does say Bruce Wayne. The other one says Batman. And then it has the date of the film. And you've got this card. Again, I have no idea what this says. And then you've got the instruction uh, book. And then a letter from Midheart saying, hey, thanks for buying our stuff. It's awesome. We appreciate it very much. Uh, but the instructions, again, we've got a description. We've got user instructions, care and maintenance. You know, what to do, what not to do. Here's your little guide of everything that should be in the package which is on the Bruce Wayne side, a lot less than the Batman side. But let's be honest, guys, we all came for the Batman. I mean, it just is what it is. And, uh, and then the poses at the end of the video should be fun. Uh, these guys, um, it looks pretty good. And underneath this tray, we have the base. We have some more accessories and, well, that's pretty much some more silica gel because, you know, you got to have that. You can't, you, can't, uh, you can't have a figure without silica gel. Uh, so the base... Is a definitely different style base from the uh, the Batman. However, it does look good. Got this granite, like, I don't know, like cemetery look to it. You've got the same envelope and riddles from uh, the Batman figure. So you're going to get a double set of those. So maybe there's two Riddlers out there. I don't know. And then you've got this uh, diorama style cards, uh, signs. I guess they're, they're signs of what they are. And uh, we got a set of those. Uh, these are probably not ones I'm going to use in my display, but we'll definitely take a look at them. I've got a pile of those uh, to go through. So our day of judgment, they're kind of stuck together just a touch. So you just got to separate them. Uh, and there's some, uh, they're on acrylic and then they're kind of uh, have backing on the acrylic and uh, just got to, you know, loosen them up. So we got the question mark for the Riddler on two different sections of those. And then one that says lies, lies, lies. And then we've got one uh, little section of uh, folded stands for those. 
All right, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Let's first take a look. Well, let's take a look at the stand. Let's get let's, this base we've got going on here. We saw the Batman one, which looked amazing. This one's more of a stone step. Reminds me of like a cemetery kind of deal. Uh, we do have the Wayne logo right there, kind of nicely done. Dig that. And the same technology we saw in the previous one, we have in this one, so you can rotate this guy. This way, I found it easier just to give a little pop. And then we've got the magnets that we can move wherever we like. Now, I don't think this one's going to be all that uh, important. As far as Bruce, he's, he's going to stand there, right? He's not going to do anything crazy. Uh, with the Batman, I found that I just left this off for posing, for changing poses. And then once you figure out a pose you like, stick this back on there and you're in good shape. So I'm going to leave this off for now. And uh, we might uh, revisit that in a little bit. Uh, but for those wondering, it does say Bruce Wayne on there. So you really can't get these mixed up. Of course, the Batman one's gray anyways. Uh, we have that. We have hands. We have the same riddles and cards we saw from the Riddler uh, in the Batman. We saw all this. We have exactly the same one. So you're probably watching the same video. They're the same ones. You got that. And then you have the envelopes to go with those. So these might be something I would use for Bruce or Bats. I've got to figure that out. I don't know. Uh, we do have some Benjamins going on down here. we got a nice stack of those. Uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit so you can get a little closer look. Um, but nice stack of these guys on here. You will see, like, these were perforated when they were cut, so a little bit of the tabs for the perforations are there. That's super nitpicky. Uh, just letting you know that's there. But these look great. I don't think you could spend these to buy more in art figures, though. So I don't think that's a legal tender. And then we have the keys and the key fob. So here we go. We've got this guy. And this is not die cast. This is plastic. It is just really, really super small accessory for him to hold and probably will be. We'll get to that. And then we have hands. So let's go ahead and break these guys out. Now, it says in the instructions, there's specific hands. We have some gripping hands. Uh, and then we have some, you know, just money holding hands. So he has two money holding hands. The hands are done nicely. There's no issues with that whatsoever. The paint application is great. Uh, his hands are in better shape than mine at the moment since I got attacked by, a, well, a knife. And uh, these all look great. So you got grip, money gripping hands, a couple uh, closed, uh, closed gripping hands, and then you have a specific key holding hand. Um, so, you know, you got a bunch of hands that are connected by magnets. You can see those in there. Uh, pretty simple. Now, these guys right here are interesting. So you're going to get... Uh, a pile of these uh, display card backs uh, in the set, and they're kind of stuck together a little bit in the packaging. You got to separate them. So there's that. And you fold them to look like this. So they fold, uh, for those wondering, there's the white. This is double sided tape. You kind of peel this off, uh, and then you fold this little section down. Kind of looks like that. The instructions are really easy to understand. Nothing crazy going on there. Uh, you do that. And then on the back of these guys, you have, again, this is a. Uh, some kind of plastic material, acrylic. I guess it's acrylic. It looks like acrylic from the side. Acrylic from the side that they've added some uh, designs to. Uh, so you have a set of these guys that you can use. Lies, lies, lies. Our day of judgment. And all you do is take double side tape off of there, stick those on there, and now you've got a stand you can use. Now, uh, I'm probably not going to use these. Uh, I, I appreciate that they're in there, but from a display standpoint, I, I'm probably not, I'm probably not going to use this, but there's that. I do like the stand. Now, the the uh, the body. Let's get these guys out of the way. Going back to the head sculpt on here. If you missed the previous section, the way you get these head sculpts off of the base from Inart is you rotate and twist. So we're going to rotate this guy, and then this pops right off. So there's that. Can't really mess that up now. This does have movable eyes. And the way you do this is you pop the hair back and you can move the eyes. I will not be doing that. It's not a feature I want to mess with with the rooted hair. If you got the sculpted hair, I guess it really matters. But with the rooted hair, I'm not going to, I just don't see the need for it. Especially on this particular head sculpt. I just don't see the need uh, in my opinion. But that looks quite good. Comparing the two sculpts together, you can see this is the one that comes with the rooted, rooted uh, Batman figure. If you got that one, he's obviously got his goth makeup on, ready for battle. And they do appear to be pretty much the exact same sculpt. Uh, obviously different hair, different paint applications, uh, but they appear to be the same 
sculpt to me. You can kind of see side by side there. Uh, they're both fantastic. I don't know if you have a preference one or the other, but I really am glad that we got one with the painted eyes because on previous Batmans, we just got a sculpt that looked like this. And we all know that when you're in battle or getting ready to be Batman, you got to go do your eye makeup and you look like this if you take off your cowl. So to install the head on the body, you can see it keys in right there. It's pretty simple. We're going to get this guy. Actually, I'm going to take this little plastic bit up. Sorry. Let's get you out of here. We don't need you in there any longer. Okay. little plastic bit. Get you out of there. And then we're going to key in this sculpt. Boom. And it keys in beautifully on a strong magnet. That, guys, is money. That looks flipping amazing. Look at that. The skin tone, I dig it. I think it works. I think it matches. Obviously, in the film, there's a lot of color grading going on. So, you know, what he actually looked like, I, I think this works. Uh, a lot of crazy colors and stuff going on in the film. But this thing looks... I think the proportions are on point. Head sculpt to body to tailoring. I think that looks great. It's got this nice overcoat that is very, very soft. I mean, it is like super, super soft. This is not, I wouldn't mind owning this jacket, to be quite honest with you. This looks great. Another set of hands on here. I mean, this is... Whew. All right, so let's take... Let's pull this back a little bit. I'm going to just, and then I'm going to just throw this out here. I'm going to display mine with this jacket on, so I'm not even going to bother taking the jacket off. But if you want to see what's underneath it, let me fold the hands back just a little bit. Uh, he does have a nice suit underneath, nicely tailored. Buttons here, white uh, collar shirt, nice tie going on here. And it looks very, it looks nice. I mean, it's, it's what you would expect from Menart. I have no complaints about that. Then we've got, he's well, he's doing some dance moves. He's got the, the ankles going here, nice, uh, nice little boot or shoes down here. And uh, I, I, I like it. Textures on the bottom look accurate to a dress shoe. We've got a belt. We've got that going on. I think all this looks great. This is, I mean, this is not the most exciting of figures. We have this, and then we have, obviously, the Batman, and then we have the Bat Signal. So this is going to be not the most exciting figure. But for those who want to go all out for their 22 Batman display, I don't think... I don't think missing out on this one uh, would be a good idea. This is cool. Got them posed up. Simple pose. This is about as simple as a pose as I think it needs. And it's about as dynamic as I think it needs. I mean, you can do a walking thing if you want to. Um, but I don't think it really needs it. And most people can have something simple like this. So we got one hand in a pocket, but not really because I cheated. Uh, and his hand's not really in there. That's just a wrist pick. And then uh, we got him holding the key. And, and, you know, we'll tweak it a little bit. We'll kind of see how it goes. But for the most part, it's, you know, this is a supplementary figure, in my opinion, to the Batman. Uh, it's not one that everybody needs. Unless you just really like the film and, you know, you like patents. And that's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're getting this one, I think the rooted hair works on this one. I... It just the other one has the suit and the, it just has everything going on. The, as far as the rooted hair goes, I think it's a win. You can pull up the hair, maneuver the eyes if you want to. I, again, I, I don't plan on doing that. Uh, I think the head sculpt is just fine. I think it looks solid. I mean, you can see it right here for yourself. It's on. It's on point, and I, I do believe it's the exact same head sculpt as comes on the Batman, uh, minus the raccoon eyes and whatever, and the different hair. Um, but. I mean, the texture of the hair, the color of the hair, the way the light bounces off of it, I think that's on money. Uh, I, I think just honestly, just it looks the way it's supposed to look. All right, let's get into the bat signal, which is it's a giant box. It's a big thing, right? The Batman obviously has a silhouette of the signal, and we're going to have a similar style opening. I'm going to try to do this without hitting my camera. So give me two seconds, and yeah, that worked. All right. So we've seen packaging like this before from Queen Studios. All right, let's see what we got here. We got in arts on this side. Sorry for the Velcro. I didn't package it. Don't blame me. Got this guy here. And how are we going to do this? I'm not sure which one's the bottom. We'll go with, uh, we'll go with this. Yay, styrofoam, man. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, I guess I chose poorly because I think that this is the bottom. So thankfully nothing came out and broke, so that's nice. We've got the feet. 
All right, and we've got, oh, good gracious, this paint application is beautiful. Holy cow. Wow. That's awesome. All right, we got some more styrofoam parts and bits here, which we don't need. I believe we're gonna need some batteries. Let's figure out where the batteries gotta go. I'm pretty sure they're going back here. So instructions wise, yep, open. We're doing this live, guys. Here we go. Instructions say, put that up and then we can have some batteries put in there. So here's our bat signal looking all kinds of awesome. We've got everything installed. We got the lights turned on and it is the proper color of amber gold light, not the soft white, not, not the wrong color. It looks great. Uh, as you can see, the paint application is crazy. The washes, the rust, this dry brushing, I mean, the ability to adjust the louvers on the uh, on the signal itself, it is absolutely freaking awesome. And the scale-wise, well, we'll have to put a figure in front of it and see what the scale-wise looks like. Uh, but it is a, it's a decent it's a decent size. It's going to take up some space in your display, no doubt about it. And I like that there is just a push button on the side to turn on the light, turn off the light. There you go. So it, it's. You can see the difference in light this thing's putting off. It's a decent amount. It's not blinding light. I don't think you're gonna get any like crazy shadowing things on the wall unless you're pretty close to it. Um, but it is enough to where if you had it on your display, you could have it on and you would notice it, but it would not be distracting. If you guys have lights in your displays, you know what I mean? Like it, sometimes if you got, they can be a little too bright. Uh, but I think this, I think this looks quite fantastic. All right, we finally have the entire all in set put together. Posed up, ready to roll. As you can see, we've got Bruce Wayne on the left, Bat Signal in the middle, and then uh, Batman on the right. Guys, I don't want to tell you. if you if Whatever you've seen so far, it is what it is. Um, I think they all look quite fantastic. Quite. I mean, I mean, this is it. Maybe you've got a, a vehicle to go with yours. Maybe you don't. Uh, as it sits, as an all-in set, like I said, whoever gets this is going to be uh, going to be pleased. So there's our, our, our Bruce Wayne, Pattinson Bruce Wayne, looking all kinds of good. And let's be honest with you guys, it's, this is about the pose most people are gonna have this guy in, right? You might not be holding the keys. Uh, I do have one hand in the pocket, and yes, I did cheat, and he's not actually wearing a hand, it's just the peg uh, in there, but it works, right? I do need to fix his tie, so minus five points to me for that. Uh, the bat signal, it's a win. If you have other bat signals, you probably will like this one. You got you just decide if you like one or the other. I, th the color of the light is accurate, so I do like that. And then this is the star of the show, no question about it. This right here is, uh, if this is the only figure you got, you're gonna be happy. Now, some people are gonna say, hey, like, uh, what about the sculpted versions versus the rooted versions, okay? Let's, let's talk about that for two seconds, if I can. Uh, one, if you're getting the Batman only, do you need this, the rooted version? No, I, I don't think you do. I think the sculpted version looks fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think you need it, right? Especially if you plan on using the cowl, anyways, and not using the head sculpt. Um, so with a messy haired look, I think the uh, sculpted version is going to look just fine. Obviously, you want to take it to the next level. The rooted hair version would be the way to go. But I'm not. It's not. It's not necessary. It's not like if you missed out on the rooted hair version, you're not really missing anything. I wouldn't feel like I wouldn't feel like you missed out. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you got the sculpted version, I think it's going to look great. Um, but let's be honest with you, I, I'm going to use the cowl. That's that's what I'm going to use. Um, so I'm super super pleased to have this. Uh, and I know some people are going to be waiting a, a little while to get theirs just because of the batch system. And that you know, just it, it'll be worth the wait. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video. I will be doing a comparison video. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. We got more, got more videos coming on this set because I think it deserves it. Um, but right here, it's pretty damn good. All right, so you might be wondering, what is the good, what is the bad, what is the ugly, what's going on with these figures? And I got to be honest with you, most everything's pretty freaking good. The sculpts are insane. The paintwork is insane, especially on that bat signal. It's crazy. The suit, I'm not going to get into nitpicking the suit because, like I said earlier, some of you are aficionados 
and you're going to pick apart this color gradient of this one. I, I, I'm not that guy. First up, let's talk about the base. Uh, so they've got this new magnet moving system here. Let me move our Bruce Wayne here. I'm going to lay him down for just a second. Uh, we've got this new system, right? And you can move these guys around and that's all great and all. Uh, is it an improvement? Yes. Is it the final solution? Uh, I, no, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, so let me give you an example. Uh, I, I do like that we have some we have some movement. I do like that. Um, however, with the uh, the Pattinson Batman or the Pat the Bruce Wayne sorry figure, I found that I had a similar uh, the magnets on on the like the middle of the foot. I guess is where the magnet is on the on the figure. It, it's strong and, and it's it it still limits you in posing. It, it's still a limiting factor. Um, and if you can see here, like I've got him pretty well stood straight up uh, and we still got like the magnets holding it up, right? And so that's the thing. And, you know, I can live with that. I can work around that by moving these around. Um, I think it, it just, it, we're, not, we're not there yet on, on, the, on the display stand. Um, I, I like the concept. I like that they're working on it. Uh, but as far as it being a final solution, I, I don't think so. I, I don't, I don't think we're there quite yet. Um, we've still got a little bit of lean going on there and this is me like making a video. So, uh, I'm going to take time. I will perfect the pose. I will get in balance and I will do what I got to do. Um, but it's just, we're not quite there on the display base. It is better. Not perfect, so we'll go with that. All right, so the second thing that I, I found that uh, when I'm maneuvering this guy's and posing him, uh, one, in order to move the eyes on the rooted hair figures, you have to lift up the rooted hair to get to the eyes. I understand why that's the thing. I don't need it. Um, I, I really don't want to maneuver the, the, the rooted hair to get to the movable eyes. I don't want to do that. Um, so that, that's just, that's a me thing. It might not be a you thing. As you can probably guess, changing out the hands on the Batman with the gauntlets on there is a little, it, it's not difficult, but anytime you have a figure with gauntlets, it, you, you got to work with it a little bit. And so, um, that's just me. Again, I'm being super nitpicky about this thing. And because I think this warrants that kind of, that kind of thing, especially the price point we pay for these things. I absolutely love the base that comes with Batman. Like it's, Probably one of the coolest, just generic bases. It's not a dynamic base or anything. It goes with that. Uh, I'm a big fan of that one. Um, and I think I, I mentioned this earlier in the video. I think I think I did. I talked a lot about stuff in there. Um, I, I think we missed the mark on not having a dynamic stand. This is a superhero. He's out there quite, uh, fighting crime, doing detective things. He's freaking Batman for his, all you know, uh, all intents and purposes. And he doesn't have a dynamic stand or he doesn't really have any way to get any dynamic poses. You could try to do dynamic poses on here on the, on the stand, maybe have like one foot up. I think I did that in an in earlier pose. Uh, but then you're having to maneuver the, the magnets again. You're having to deal with that. And that takes some time, right? You're not going to get super dynamic poses stuck on the ground. Just not ain't gonna happen. As far as the body goes, it'll do everything you want to do. Double bend, elbows, shoulders, knees. It, that's everything you're gonna want to do uh, with not much hindrance, to be honest with you. Torso twist, everything's great. Uh, so I don't have any issues with that. Um, it, it's more or less a dynamic. Somehow we've got to get, I, I think the weakest point in the set and weakest point in art going forward, uh, actually going backwards, hopefully not going forward, have been the bases, has, have been those magnet system. I think that's been their weakest uh, a weakest point so far. Um, so there's that. Now there is one thing I will in invite you to be careful with, uh, that I, I noticed while posing, uh, the Batman. So with the cowl, so if you, the way the, the body attaches, the head attaches to, um, the body is through this little peg system. So let me get it out of here. I'll show you guys this. So you got this system right here. So you've got the neck, uh, part of the suit here, and then you've got this adapter guy here and then the head, literally just slides on there. It's not, it's not terribly complicated. It's pretty simple. However, when you slide the head over the peg uh, and you do it at the wrong angle, you can actually hit, I'm gonna try and zoom in. I don't know how well it's gonna show, uh, but you can actually hit, hit the eye socket joints, the, move, the joysticks uh, it, while you're placing this on the head. And if you, if, if you just hit it at the right spot, 
the neck peg adapter hits the joysticks on the eyes and you actually end up with not what your desired result is. Uh, and you gotta maneuver a little bit. It doesn't happen every time, but it depends on the angle in which you attach the head to, uh, to the neck. That's, that's pretty much it. So be mindful of that. That's a nitpick. If you're out there doing that, again, I'm being super nitpicky, guys. This is fantastic figures all around. Um, as far as Batman figures go, uh, this is probably, I'm not even going to say probably, is. This is the best Batman figure I've reviewed ever. It, it's, it's the best one I've ever reviewed. Uh, it is it's not perfect. It's the best one I've reviewed. And I've, reviewed, I've, I've done quite a few. Um, so I will be doing a comparison on the NR Batman, uh, Pattinson Batman, to the Hot Toys Batman in a separate video. I think it warrants its own separate video versus trying to squeeze it into this one and, and doing that. Uh, that will probably upset some people, but, um, you know, that, that's okay. I've upset people before. Um, but, guys, I will tell you, this thing's freaking awesome. Um, so if you get it coming... Great, if you have the opportunity to get one, get one. Uh, I think this is not a necessity unless you're just a hardcore Pattinson Batman fan and you must have this. If you got this and you got the sculpted hair version, it's an absolute like dollar for dollar value, huge win. I think the bat signals you saw earlier, that thing is flipping amazing as well. Uh, that's a win. All of these are wins, they're just wins in my opinion. So there's that. If you want to get one of these or the set or one of the pieces, you can check out Pop Collectibles, link in the description below. I think they're sold out. I'm not 100% sure sold out by the time you're watching this. I don't know. Um, but there will be other in art figures with Aragorn. That's going to be, I cannot wait for Game of Thrones. Like, like that's going to be my jam. Game of Thrones, in art figures with this stuff going on. And that Christopher Reeve Superman. Dang. I, I'm like, they keep doing cool stuff. I'm, I'm, ha I'm here for it. Just, that's what I'm saying. As always, click what you like. If you haven't subscribed, what the heck are you waiting on? I'll do that now. Stay tuned to my Instagram. I'll be posting piles and piles of photos of these things and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, as always, click what you like. See you next time. <laughs>